Welcome to this structure how-to video on creating dynamic hierarchies. In this video, you'll learn how to use automation. Automation enables you to easily visualize the relationships that exist between issues in JIRA, such as issue links, epic links, or subtasks. You can also group and sort issues by different JIRA fields and much more. With this flexible feature, you can build work breakdown structures, portfolio overviews, structures for sprint planning or triaging, visualize dependencies, and address many other important use cases. Automation is built using generators, the rules you add to a structure to define which issues should be included and how they should be organized. This video will show you how to use each of the five types of generators. Let's get started. In order to create or edit a generator, we first need to enable Automation Editing Mode. To do this, click the Automation button at the top of the Structure panel. Once Editing Mode is turned on, a plus sign appears next to the Automation button. To add a new generator, click the plus button and you'll see the five different types of generators that are available. These will allow us to Insert issues into our hierarchy Filter out issues we don't want to see sort issues by JIRA fields, group issues by fields or links, and extend our structure by pulling in issues that are related to those already in the structure. Let's start with the Insert Generator. This generator is used to add the initial scope of issues we will work with. When we click Insert, we get a few more options. Each of these Insert Generator types provides a different way to add JIRA issues into our structure. You can add issues from a particular Agile board, either EPICS or all other issue types. You can add results of a JQL or a text query, and you can even insert other existing structures into your structure. Let's first use a JQL query option. It's the most flexible approach. Simply enter a JQL query in the dialog that describes the issues you would like to add to the structure. The autocomplete feature ensures you get exactly the right query. For this example, let's insert all the issues of the type Theme. This checkmark tells us that the query is valid. Insert generators have an important option which limits the maximum number of issues it will add. We can change or remove this limit at any time. Please note the limit only applies to the current generator. You can add more issues later through additional generators. Let's leave it set to the default for now. Click Apply to add the generator to the top of the structure board. We can see it here in dark red, and below we can see that all the issues that match our query have been added to the structure. You can change a generator by double-clicking on it. In Automation Editing Mode, you can see how the scope of a generator is defined by its position in the structure. You can add them under the root element to affect the entire structure, or under manually added issues and folders for a limited scope. It's important to note that you cannot add generators under items that were added by another generator. An error message will appear if you accidentally try to do this. So, before you add the generator, make sure you have the focus on the target item. In our case, we want all the generators to apply to the entire structure, so we need to make sure the top row is selected before adding each new generator. Now that we have our top-level issues in our structure, let's create a hierarchy using the Extend Generator. Click the plus button again, and this time select Extend. You will see several options. This may vary depending on your JIRA add-ons. Let's add issues linked to our themes using the Linked Issues Generator. The dialog allows us to select the link type and direction we want to use. In this example, we've created a new custom link type. Implements in JIRA, which we use to connect our themes with the issues on lower levels. So here we want to select the Implements link type with the parent is implemented by child direction. Next, the Extend Levels setting allows us to set the levels of the hierarchy where the generator will run. It is a really important setting that can help you keep things better organized and also reduce performance load, especially in larger structures. By default, it is set from level 1 to 10. This means the generator will add issues linked to the first level, then add any issues linked to those at the second level, then the third, and so on, until it reaches level 10. A high extend level could result in a complex structure. 
we recommend that you set this parameter only to the number of levels you need. In this case, themes are at the top level, level 1. If we set the levels to the current level only, the extend generator will add child issues to the themes and stop there. Finally, the allow changes via structure option lets us decide whether or not changes made in structure should change the underlying JIRA data. In the case of this extender, issue links of type implements. We'll show you how this works in a moment. First, let's click apply to finish adding our generator. You can see our new extend generator was added to the top of the structure, and now our themes have one level of children under them. We're not quite done with this generator, because in the sample data we created, we use the implements link to connect our themes to our initiatives, which you see here. We also use the implements link to connect initiatives to epics, which you're not seeing here. That's because we limited our generator to the current level. If we want to add the epics, we'll need to change the generator settings. To do that, we double-click the Extend Generator and change the level setting to Manual Level Range from Level 1 to Level 2. Now, our extender will also check the issues on the second level and add their children as Level 3. When we click Apply, you can see that our epics have now been added. Since we've selected the option to allow changes via structure, we can drag and drop initiatives from one theme to another, thereby changing the corresponding issue link. We can also create a new issue right inside the structure, and it will be linked to its parent automatically. Using the extended generators, we can visualize existing relations between issues going top-down. Now let's go in the bottom-up direction, using group generators or groupers. We can group issues by almost any JIRA field, custom field or structure attribute. For example, let's group our issues by assignee. By default, a group generator is applied to the top level in its scope, so now themes are grouped by assignees. To group items at a different level, double-click the group generator. Let's change ours to level 3. This will apply the group generator to the epics because they are on the third level of our structure. Remember, the level that the generator is applied to is based on the hierarchy of the structure before the grouper was added. Group generators also support allow changes via structure, which means we can drag and drop items between groups to update the values of the corresponding fields in JIRA. In this example, we can drag an epic from one assignee group to another, and the issue will be reassigned in JIRA. It's possible to group items by more than one field, the items will be grouped in the same order as the groupers. If you change the order of the groupers, you will change the way the items are grouped. Now let's take a look at the sort generator. In this example, we want our sort generator to apply to our entire structure. So, once again, we need to make sure the top row is in focus. Then, we can click the plus button and select sort. Just like with the group generator, we can sort by any attribute. Let's sort our structure by rank. You'll notice that when we choose our attribute, we aren't given any other options. That's because Structure automatically applies the default options for sort generators. The sorting is applied in ascending orders to all levels. We can easily edit the generator by double-clicking it. In this case, we can change our sort to descending order or change the levels in our structure that it's applied to. If you sort by fields like priority or summary, Reordering issues in structure will not be possible, but if you sort by JIRA software rank and have the Edit via Structure checkbox enabled, you can reorder issues in structure and change their rank in JIRA. It's also possible to add multiple sort generators if you need to sort by additional fields. Finally, we have the Filter Generator. Adding a filter allows us to remove any items we don't need in our structure. The most common option is the JQL filter, which will hide all the issues that do not match a specific query. There are also some special filters we can choose from. You can find their detailed descriptions in the user documentation, which you can access by clicking the info link in the bottom right corner of the structure panel. Here's an example. We may want to see only the issues assigned to team member Chewbacca. To do that, we simply add our JQL query, assignee equals Chewbacca. Please note that if an issue that matches the JQL query has any ancestors in the hierarchy, 
Those ancestors will also be shown in the structure whether they match the JQL query or not. By default, filters are applied to all levels of a structure, but we have the option to select the level we want to apply the filter to. We can also select whether we want to keep sub-items of the matching query or not. For example, if we filter by assignee equals Chewbacca, selecting this option will also keep the children of any issues that are assigned to Chewbacca, even if the children are assigned to someone else. These are the five types of automation generators available in Structure. However, we covered only one example for each of them. There are more settings and options for each of them, so we highly encourage you to explore them in more detail. By combining different generators in different configurations, you can create a hierarchy as complex or as simple as you need. A few important tips before we wrap up. Structures built using automation only store the generators, not the issues themselves. This means every time you open such a structure, the generators will run and you will see the result of their execution based on the then current data in JIRA. Once the structure is open, generators will update it in real time. For example, if someone creates a new epic link to an initiative in JIRA, your structure will immediately show that. With automation, you can be confident the data in your structures is current at all times. This concludes the structure how-to video on creating dynamic structures with automation. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.